present situation of having the COVID-19 viral pandemic going on, that everyone has been advised to stay at home. Children with special needs also have to follow the same advice and be at home safe and secure. But the question remains that how do these children cope with the routine of staying at home for a whole day without getting bored or frustrated and having meltdowns? Now the answer is to have routines because kids thrive in predictable environments. I would like to give you tips for creating functional home-based activity routines for your child in a simple yet productive manner. Now, the first thing would be for you to make a visual schedule or timetable for your child. What is a visual schedule? It is consists of laminated pictures presenting schedules of your child's various routines so that it's easy for your child to predict when activities such as bath time, breakfast, lunch will happen during the day. Once the activity is finished, the chi your child will enjoy putting that picture in the finished box. This helps kids get closure on one activity and move on to the next without having a meltdown. You can also use a whiteboard for children who can read, which has a simple daily schedule, which they can refer to and tick off as and when it's finished. Once your child wakes up, let him or her start using the visual schedule for the morning routines, such as waking up and then brushing their teeth, toilet routine, washing face, having breakfast and bath time. Now make these routines such as breakfast and bath time uh, really a fun and great sensory experience for your child. Now how can you do that? You can have different textures and tastes, especially crunchy and chewy foods during breakfast which helps in making your child stay alert during the day. Now during bath time, you can make it more fun by using bubbles, water with different temperatures, soaps, clothes, sponges, loofahs, scrubbers of different textures so that your child enjoys the bath time as well as keeps on getting the necessary sensory input that he has to get to stay alert during the day. Now the above routines can also be made more functional by giving your child specific chores to be done during these routines such as helping set the table for breakfast or lunch, clearing up after meal time, helping put the soil laundry in the laundry basket. Please make sure that you positively reinforce your child's performance because it's very important to encourage further development of these functional skills. Once your child starts off with the morning routines, and he has done those routines successfully, you can move on to active play time. Now, what is active play time? Active play includes any activity that involves moderate to vigorous bursts of energy. Now, why is it necessary? Because it forms the building blocks to a healthy life of a child. What can you do in active play time? There are quite a few suggestions for activities. You can play games with your child such as tag, hide and seek. You can do treasure hunts. You can make an obstacle course at home using stools, chairs. You can make a pathway with cushions, mats and pillows. You can do animal walks such as frog jumps, bunny hops, bear walks, crab walks. You can do wheelbarrow walks. If you have a trampoline or a swing at home, let your child do trampoline jumping for specific pounds. You can do jumping sequences such as marching, jumping jacks. You can do ball play with your child. Even make them run errands during this time. So if they push heavy items like a small trolley or carry a box with books or um, bottles with water, make them do the transfers from one room to the other or from one person to the other.